Hey guys, so I know um, I'm trying not to get like emotional because I feel <laughs> now I'm getting emotional. <laughs> I feel so lucky that I have so many amazing friends and it is thanks to YouTube and I get to know you guys and I'm getting really mushy so I'm gonna try and avoid doing that otherwise I am like the biggest sucker. <laughs> I'm gonna probably end up like tearing and it's not because I'm sad, it's because I'm so touched and I love you guys and I love the friends that I've made on YouTube that have become just such an important part. Oh my gosh, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> such an important part. Oh my goodness, why am I doing this? <laughs> I love you guys, that's, that's what I want to say. So I'm trying not to get emotional. I love you guys, I love my friends. So with that said, me being all <laughs> teary eyed. I'm not sad guys, I'm just really happy. I wanted to show you guys something amazing that was sent to me by my friend Tanya, Sugar Charm Shop. Um, I mean, if you guys don't know her, you have to check her out. By the way, I don't know why. I've been really in the mood to record standing up. So, and yes, I do have plenty of cat hair. I do cuddle with my cats a lot. So, don't mind this. But yeah, I, I, I don't know why. There's just something about standing up and recording. I feel just free <laughs> to, to just move around instead of just sitting down on a chair and feeling like I'm restricted to this area, even though I'm probably not gonna move that much. Now, I don't even know how close I am <laughs> to the camera. I'm trying to think that this is a good distance, but at the same time, I wanna get close to the camera. And I am wearing my Bulbasaur hat that was sent to one of you guys by my Mail Monday. So if you haven't heard, my Mail Mondays are back, but not on Mondays. The unboxing will happen after my uh, craft videos. So whatever I get in my P.O. box, I'll unbox in my craft video. I don't know why I paused, because I just remembered that there's something that's supposed to be in my P.O. box, but it never arrived yet, so... Okay! <sighs> okay, with that said, <laughs> I don't know why I'm just rambling. I want to show you guys all the awesome stuff. I already opened the package, and I already thanked Tanya, and I'll leave all her information in the description box below, and in her, in the i, I card section. I think it's here. I think it's here. Click, check her out. She makes amazing miniatures and you guys will also know for sure Celine because I got to know Tanya through Celine. So I don't know, I'm just so lucky and I feel so lucky and I feel so happy <laughs> to know all these amazing people. All right, so the first thing is these are these chips and I love the logo. Don't you know I'm loco? And she made me realize this is not a person, that's a cat in a mask. Is it a luchador? Lucha, lucha. What is it called? Oh no, <laughs> look at this. Hey, you wanna read my essay? <laughs> no, <laughs> I didn't even see this. Wanna read my essay? Can I get this? I don't even know why I'm doing these accents, guys. I've been like in a really accent type mode. Uno, dos, tres, salsa, guacamole, tortilla, chihuahua, ocho. These are just like random words on these bags. So <laughs> that's it. That's it. I'm done with the internet. So I've been rambling a lot right now. So I can see that I've been rambling for like a little bit of time. I don't want to talk about it. What's this bag? Is this bag designed by me? Because these are just things that I seem to annoy people with. I have no idea. Chips puffle. So I don't know what I, I don't, I don't know what flavor these are. So I'm very curious. Mmm. They smell like tortillas. I wonder if there are any specific flavors. So these are. Mmm. Oh my goodness. They're just. You know what Doritos taste like? They're synthetic. These ones taste a lot less synthetic than the Doritos. These are really good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm only gonna take one because there's quite a bit of snacks. But she didn't just send me snacks. I'm, I know I'm talking with my mouth full. My mouth full. Okay, so there's not just snacks, but there's a lot of art supplies. And I'm gonna get emotional again. And. I'm like trying not to be emotional. There's some really, I'm, I'm gonna eat this chip. She also sent me some, cause you can't cry while you're eating chips or snacks, right? Or maybe you can, cause people kind of go to snacks when they're not feeling well. 
I'm rambling. <laughs> so there's art supplies in here too, because she knows that I absolutely love art supplies, and I really want to get back into drawing a lot. And I, I, one of my resolutions at the beginning of the year was to draw more, and I did, but not as much as I would have liked to. So I did draw quite a bit, but not enough. So I want to definitely do a lot more. The first thing, well, not the first thing, but the first art supply that I have here is a mechanical eraser. Now I've been using, where'd it go? So I've been using the really slim one. Where is it? This is my art pouch. I've been using, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Yeah, don't mind my accents. So I've been using this really slim one also that's like a mechanic, not a mechanical, mechanical one, but you know, the one that you just push. So I've been using that and I'm loving it because I can get into the finer details. And the fact that I have this and that she thought of giving me refills is such a saver. So I'm like super, super excited. And I have like the full set of Prisma colors, but recently in the scrawler box, I tried the Faber Castell. I hope I'm saying this right, or Faber, I would say Faber Castell. And they are so much smoother. I love the Prisma colors and I think these will make a great addition. So she sent me this box and uh, I can't, I can't express like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't express like how, how grateful I am. And she also sent me a couple of different types of skin tones. So these will be added to the box <laughs> of the colors that she sent. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to keep it together. Keep it together, girl. Keep it together. <laughs> And then she sent me this Sakura Sumo Grip mechanical pencil. I do love sketching with and some refills. So polymer leads. I can't wait to try this out. She told me to pretend that it's like a scrawler box and I think I will. I think I'm going to do a project. That's a lot of material though, so it doesn't feel very restrictive. And then she also sent me a Pigma set of, look at these colors, brush pens. I love brush pens. I have the black one. And I was like, man, I love using this because you can go in different kinds of thicknesses and, and fine lines. And I really fell in love with it. I definitely need more technique. But look at all these colors. This is really amazing. So I'm like, oh, I can't wait to use them. So she did tell me to pretend that it's like a scrawler box and make a project <laughs> based on that. So it's pretty much going to be very, not too challenging because it's not restrictive because there's just so much in there. And she also sent me some Micron fine liners. These are one of my favorite fine liners. I actually have quite a bit of them, but not in these, not in these points. I have the 0.5, but not in these ones. And you can never have enough liners. That's for sure. I want to show you guys all the crafty stuff first, and then I'll get into the, <laughs> the snacks. I know I started with the snack first, and then I went into the material, but yeah. She also sent some quartz. Real Quartz and some of them are color coded, and I was just looking at them. And I'm like, oh, these are so pretty. These are so so pretty. I mean, I looked at these, and instantly I have ideas that I can craft with. These are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I'm looking at these, and I'm getting so many different ideas. So, for sure, I want to make something using these. And I know there was, oh yeah, there it is. These, I told her I wanted to make a plushie, but the fur that I had was really bad because it was so long and then when I trimmed it, it made like the ugliest creature that is straight from nightmares. It was so bad that I wanted to throw it away and my brother's like, don't throw it away, I can fix it. And there's just no fixing it. The only way to fix it is to get rid of it because it, it seriously looked like something from nightmares. And it was, just, it was supposed to be a fox creature, but it looked so stiff. And not just stiff, but just weird, and it just wasn't pretty at all. So, and it looked mangy because the fur I tried to trim it, and all you could see is see through all of the other things. So, she knew right away that I wanted to make a plushie. So she sent me these absolutely gorgeous and so soft. So they're they're kind of like fur, but they're not too long. So, and the white one is absolutely beautiful. She made a project with the white one and I'll link it in the description box below. So soft, like if you guys can, oh wow. <laughs> if you guys can feel this, like this this just feels like 
comfort. This really does. It's so soft and just so nice. I could just cuddle against this. Not against it, cuddle with it for, for quite some time. It just feels so nice. So yeah, so this is absolutely wonderful. So now I have to try making a plushie again because I have no sewing skills whatsoever. All right, on to the snacks. So the first one, not the first one, I keep saying the first one, but I mean the first one was really just the chips over there that I really want to like kind of gravitate towards and just start eating. Uh, Schweitzer drops. I don't know what these are, but my guess, I could be wrong, my guess is that they are maybe minty flavor. So I'm not gonna, let me try and find the scissors. Skizzers, scissors, scissors, there. Because I don't want to make something, I don't want to open it too much and then let it kind of catch too much air. My guess is minty. Mm-hmm, yep, tastes like candy cane. Just like holidays. This is really good. I'm just gonna swish it around a little bit and I'm gonna put it aside and I'm gonna eat it later. I know for some of you guys this could be like really gross, but it's my own mouth going back in my own mouth, so that's kind of okay, right? <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna taste like candy cane. I love candy cane, I love peppermint or mint. Anything minty flavor is just so good. And let's go for the Norgades. Hmm. I want to go back to that minty one. I love minty flavor. So the red one. Oh. I can't. I can't pinpoint the smell. Anise. Mmm. What is anise? And and what's the other word for anise? Licorice. Mmm. This is so good. Mmm. I'm probably not gonna, mm, I wanna swish it around, but at the same time, I'm like, I need to crunch this. This is anise flavor. Ouzo flavor? I'm trying to say as many different flavors as possible. Think of it as like, anise is the best way to, to mm, this is so good. Okay, let me put it away. I really love this. Let me put it away. And then I have a snowball. Uh, snowball? Snowball? I totally didn't open this and eat from it. So didn't do it. I'm such a bad liar, guys. I'm a really bad liar. <laughs> I had these. It's so good. It's, it's, you know what? I'll have one just to show you. For science, I'll show you for science. So these snowballs are filled with marzipan and they're so good. So I'm just gonna, just got a little itch because of the cat fur. Uh, mm, 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 mm. First coat is layer of awesome, and the second coat is a layer of delicious, and then the center is stuffed with like nostalgia, right? I'm pretty sure that's the official ingredient. <laughs> so I think the first coat is like sugar coated, and then we have chocolate, and then marzipan. I don't know how to describe marzipan. I guess almond paste. I don't know if that's the correct way to describe it, but this is so good. You could just eat this forever. So. Because I like to eat really slowly normally, I'm always the last person at a table and everyone's done eating and I'm just like slowly eating and I'm always the last one. So I'm going to put it aside because I really like to take my time <laughs> with food. And then we have Pingvin. Oh my goodness. Onks mix. Onks mix. And it looks like a mix of gummies. Mm. I know maybe it's like in my head that I can smell things inside bags, but I always have the impression that I can smell things inside bags. And I can see already licorice things. I want to show you guys. Little licorice, licorice stuff. Mmm, it smells so good. I always find that licorice or gummies in other countries taste a lot less sugary than the ones we have in North America. I've had these before, and I don't even know how to describe these. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Wow. This really tastes like childhood. Like right now, I am four years old and eating something that tastes exactly. Oh. Mm. oh, this bag is dangerous. I wonder if this one tastes the same as the red one. Okay, I really didn't describe it at all. How do you describe something like this? Oh, they actually have descriptions. 
No, they don't. <laughs> they don't. I thought they had descriptions back here, but they actually don't. Hmm. Let's try this one. Mmm, it's very different. So the red one kind of had like a like a strawberry, and the filling. I, I can't pinpoint the filling. The filling was kind of like a. I can't remember, but it, it's it's hard to describe. It's almost like a just a sweet, soft filling. I do I can't describe it, guys. I'm so bad. This one tastes like a chocolate. But not quite either. But it's not licorice either. So it has like this cross of flavors that. Hmm. It's like a really soft hot chocolate. Like really subtle. It's really good. And I'm not gonna try one of each because there's quite a bit. And I can see black licorice and I love that. I love that licorice. I love black licorice so much. Haribo's peaches, right? I love peaches. I have quite a few favorite fruits, but like if I would have to put top, it would have to be oranges and then peaches and nectarines. I would put these on the same line. And watermelon. So these would be my favorite flavors. So even when I get bubble tea, I always get like melon flavor because they don't have peach where I'm at and they don't have orange either. Why don't they? Why don't they? Why don't they have orange flavor? <gasps> Revolution. Someone make orange flavored bubble tea. And then we have skilled paid bar. Mm, caramel. It seems like it's a caramel. So I've never had any of these. I've had the Haribo's before and the snowballs. Uh, but I don't think I've had this one before. So I'm gonna I'm just using my scissors because I don't I don't wanna struggle. And mmm. Ooh. That's turtle shells, right? Or am I just seeing turtle shells where I shouldn't be seeing turtle shells? I'm seeing turtle shells. Are you guys, are you guys seeing turtle shells? Am I just ninja turtle craze? Okay, so here's what it looks like. I'm just gonna break the center. Oh, break the center. Break it. This, oh, I can't break it. Break the center. <laughs> No! Oh! Oh! There! We have the caramel drizzle. Ooh. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Oh, that is not... That is not North American caramel. Mmm. What is that? I don't want to start, like, licking my fingers and getting you guys all, like... <laughs> I'm glad I did lick my fingers. Mmm. That is not North American caramel. Let me just go in and I'm just gonna... Sorry, I'm gonna hide a little bit. Mmm. Oh, it look! Oh. Mm. What is that? It tastes like eggnog. It legit tastes like eggnog. Eggnog? 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 Why can't I say? I don't know. It's eggnog, right? I'm pretty sure it's eggnog. Okay, you know there are these... There are words... The more you repeat, the less they make sense, and eggnog is one of them right now. I am i don't know, am I saying it right? I'll put it somewhere here, the word I'm trying to say. That's exactly what this caramel tastes like, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna it. Mm. Oh, this is really good. Whatever the spices are in eggnog, I'm pretty sure it is. That's what it tastes like. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, these are really good. Skilled the paid. I'm sure, I'm sure I'm massacring this. I should have brought some water. Because now, <laughs> now I'm feeling so thirsty. It's like all the sugar. Mm. Is there alcohol in that? I don't know. Is there alcohol in that? I don't think so. But it has like this nice little... It's not a burn, but just like this nice little feeling. And then there's the whiskey marzipan. You give me marzipan, you can marry me any day. <laughs> so she said... She sent me the whiskey and cognac. She said the cognac flavor is her favorite, uh, but I'm gonna do a try of both. Ooh, I love marzipan. Anything marzipan. I just love, oh man, it smells so good. Mm. Mm. Is it so good? I don't taste the whiskey. 
but I don't taste the whiskey too much. I just taste marzipan and I'm, I'm just happy. Maybe I'm just like, in my mind, I've gone to like marzipan heaven. And then there's the cognac. Let's take a little piece of that. One piece of that. <laughs> I'm gonna try the cognac. I'm super, super excited. I'm like ruining my supper, but worth it. Okay, so the whiskey looks, uh, cognac, sorry, is exactly the same look as the whiskey one. Oh, it smells slightly different. Mm. Oh, it's much softer. It's much lighter. The flavor is definitely much lighter on the cognac. Mm. This is so good. I think because I like really intense flavors, both are amazing, but I would have to say the whiskey, because the flavor is more like a slap in the face rather than just like a caress. Not that I like slaps in the face. But I like, I like intense flavors. And the whiskey was a little more aggressive on the flavor. And then the last thing is chocolate milk in a can. I've never seen chocolate milk in a can. Now I don't want to open it just yet because I would assume that chocolate milk in a can tastes better than just chocolate milk powder. So I really, really, really want to try this, but I don't want to open it just yet. So. Oh my goodness, so I'm gonna keep this for another time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this package opening, but at the same time, I hope I didn't scare you because I cry at Disney movies, I'm a big mush. And when I feel so overwhelmed and appreciated and just the comments and you guys being there since the beginning makes me feel so special. And I, I'm not special, but I am special because of the meaning or the relationship that you guys have with me. Now I'm getting like really into this again. So one of my favorite books is The Little Prince and if you guys know The Little Prince and the interaction with him and the fox, I'm getting all philosophical here. So if you know the novel, you know the interaction with the fox and the little prince and the idea about ties and creating, you know, these ties with people is what makes things special and not just necessarily them on their own. Sorry for being so sappy and I know this video is really long, but yeah. Thank you so much, Tanya, and thank you so much, everyone, for, for being there, and my friends on YouTube. You guys are the best, and I'm talking so much, right? Bye. <laughs>